Okay, Shalom Akiyam. First and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekahakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. This is your brother Yahweh Allah from GMS Chicago coming at you again with another lesson. All right, and in this video, I want to go in quickly into a few scriptures um, showing that in the Bible, uh, Babylon um, is referred to what nowadays uh, we would call uh, the United States. All right. So there is a Babylon in the scriptures that isn't necessarily, I mean, uh, isn't referring to the um, the ancient Babylon. Better yet, I say it like that. All right. It's not referring to the ancient Bab uh, Babylon kingdom, man, but it's talking about uh, the United States, man, uh, which is modern day Babylon, you know, which is to be destroyed, man, according to the Bible. All right. So I'm going to start off here in Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse nine. It says, for lo, I will raise and cause up against Babylon. Excuse me. It says for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. All right. So this, uh, uh, you know, the scriptures talk about that there's going to be assembly of great nations uh, uh, that come up against Babylon. All right. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. All right. So right here it talks about a gathering of nation, an assembly of nations setting themselves in array against her. All right. Uh, um, so we know that this Babylon is talking about modern day Babylon, which is the United States, because um, ancient Babylon wasn't just wasn't destroyed in this fashion. It wasn't taken over in this fashion. We can actually go to the book of Daniel, chapter five and verse one. It says, Belshazzar, the king uh, made a great feast uh, to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousands all right so belshazzar is uh you know the king of babylon you know at the time all right verse two it says belshazzar whilst he tasted the wine commanded the king uh, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels from uh, uh which his father nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in jerusalem that night and his princes and his wives and his concubines might drink therein it says that the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple, out of the house of God, which were at Jerusalem. And the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold, of silver, of brass, of iron and of wood and of stone. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hands and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed and his thoughts troubled him so that his joints of his loins were loosened and his knees smote one against another. So a fear came upon the king, Belshazzar. All right. He saw this hand come out of nowhere. All right. And uh, and wrote on the wall. All right. So this is, uh, uh, um, you know, how, uh, the story going into how ancient Babylon uh, came to an end, man. And so, you know, they were looking. You, you guys can read the whole chapter, you know, and they were trying to uh, um, get the, the understanding of what the writing was on the wall. And, um, uh, 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 you know, he, he had his uh, so-called wise man, his astrologers come and. You know, try to try to uh, uh, break down what was the writing on the wall. But the only person that could break it down was Daniel's Daniel. And look at what happened. So keep in mind, all this was going on, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, um, as uh, as they were having this feast, this this, um, you know, they were drinking. They were drinking out of the, the cups that were set, you know, in, in the, uh, the the tabernacle of the Lord, man. You know, for the service of the Lord, man. So it was a it was a great offense, man. And it was spiritual that that um this hand came and uh, wrote on the wall at that exact time, man, because it was an offense to the heavenly Father, man. And you know, 
it was a per, you know, uh, uh, and it was that time when the Lord had uh, uh, designated them to, to go down. I'm going to jump to verse 22. It says, And thou, and thou his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart, though thou knewest all this, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his, of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them. So, yeah, it was an offense, man. You know, they haven't uh, uh, gave reverence to the Lord, man. You know, and they're over here partying, drinking from the vessels that were of the house of the Lord, man. All right. Uh, um, <clears throat> it says, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know. So on top of that, not only were they drinking from his vessels, they were giving reverence to gods of gold, fake gods, man, idols, man. Okay, it says, and the and the God and the power in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, and whose are all thy ways, has thou not glorified, man? All right, it says, then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. And this is the writing that was written. Mene, mene, tekel, ufarsin. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mene, God had numbered thy kingdom and finished it. All right. This is the king of Babylon. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. Then commanded Belshazzar, and they clothed Daniel with scarlet and put a, a chain of gold about his neck and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. Because um, Belshazzar had made that decree that whoever gave the interpretation, he was going to, you know, deck him with gold, man. Uh, uh, you can read the whole chapter to get that breakdown. Verse 30, and, and this is the point. In that night, that night when they were when they were partying, when they were drinking, when they were, you know, getting drunk you know it says in that night was belshazzar the king of the chaldean slain and darius the median median took the kingdom being about three score and two years old so you know each score is 20 so three of them that would be 60 so he was 62 years old darius when he took the kingdom all right and that's when the the Med the medo persian empire began all right when the Medes first began to take uh, uh, over, you know, um, rulership, man. So that's how uh, uh, ancient Babylon was destroyed, man, or, or better yet, taken over. All right. It was a, a more of a tactical takeover where they just took the king and and, and there uh, uh, killed the king. And Darius stood in his place because, you know, he was drinking and being merry and, you know, he was troubled. You know, by the signs that was written and verse 30 says in that night belshazzar the king of the chaldeans was slain man okay so he was slain that very night and uh what did we just read in uh jeremiah 50 it says that that an assembly of great nations uh uh, uh was gonna take uh you know was gonna take over babylon so this babylon is not talking about the ancient babylon it's talking about the united states man all right, and we can actually go to the book of um, Obadiah to prove that, where it talks about, um, you know, those of that confederacy can come has come up against thee. But before that, uh, I want to hit real quick Psalms 137 and 7 to prove, to show that um, there is a Babylon, all right, who is called the daughter of Babylon, right, that... Um, they were going to be, uh, uh, um, you know, the future Babylon was going to be under the rulership of the Edomites, man. All right. This is Psalms 137 and 7. It says, remember, O Lord, the children of the, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou has rewarded us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stones, man. So that the the modern day Babylon was going to be ruling by ruling by Esau Edom. You know they are the daughter of Babylon. Okay, and there's been so many videos done 
on Esau Edom being the self-proclaimed white man. All right. You know, Edom, came, uh, Esau came out red all over like a hairy garment. You know, the self-proclaimed white man is the only being out here in this world and God's created world. All right. That has come out uh, without any pigment where their blood shows forth through their skin. You know, they also talks about the characteristics of Esau Edom, that uh, he was a man of the field. All right. He's a hunter. All right. And who loves to hunt for sport, man? All you got to do is a quick Google search and, and put in hunting and go to the images and it'll show you which race does it, man. You don't even have to put Esau Edom or white people or nothing. Just put hunting and it'll show you which race does that, man. All right. Uh, what's another thing? Um, his bless Esau Edom's blessing was the sword. He says, by thy sword shall I live. All right. Who lives by his, his armies, man? Who uh, created his empire through bloodshed? It wasn't even, uh, 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 you know, um, full out war. It was straight up deceit, man, because what they were doing was making peace treaties with the natives. All right. And they broke every last covenant, man. You know, they they, um, you know, deceitfully took this kingdom man, through bloodshed and murder. OK, and that's then that's the, the main and, and final clue of who uh, 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 that proves the self-proclaimed white man is Esau Edom because of Malachi one and four. It calls Esau Edom the border of wickedness. All right, so wherever the borders of Esau, wickedness was, uh, was wickedness was going to rule. All right, and uh, it's in, and so the people don't get simple and say, "Oh no, it was just Esau that was wicked." No, Malachi one and four says, uh, uh, "It says this is the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever." Why? For because they were they were wicked. They they were made to be wicked. All right, the Lord made them. Uh, like it, like it says, uh, the Lord created the wicked for the day of evil. All right. They were created to be destroyed. OK. And uh, l look at their actions, man. They push everything against uh, what's uh, of the what's uh, the righteousness of the Lord, man. You know, they push homosexuality. All right. Transgenderism. All right. Uh, women's uh, equal rights. When the Lord tells you that a woman shouldn't usurp authority over a man. That's in the New Testament for you guys, man. All right. So, you know. Many videos have been done proving Esau Edom is the self-proclaimed white man. So modern day Babylon is uh, 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 America, man, the United States. All right. It's going to be ruling by Esau Edom and it's going to be, be brought down through uh, an assembly of nations. All right. Let's uh, read that in the book of Obadiah 1 and 6. It says, how are the things of Esau searched out? Which this also proves that Esau is ruling um over um against uh, uh, uh ruling in uh in babylon because uh, of that uh, you know assembly of nations to be destroying to be destroying him because right here it talks about well let, let me actually just read it obadiah 1 and 6 how are the things of esau searched out how are his hidden things sought up you know and people that's what's going on right now people are, are, are realizing how much of a devil all right and devil just means deceiver all right. How much of a deceiver the self-proclaimed white man is, man. All right. The, he's been ruling in oppression. He doesn't uh, uh, rule in, uh, you know, in fairness. All right. That he that he is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. Verse seven. All right. And because of this, verse seven says, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him, man. All right. So there you go. The men that were at first in confederacy with him. All right. Have uh, uh, are now uh, have been prophesied to come against them, man. You know, and that's exactly what ha what's going on right now. You see it happening, man. All the people that were that were taking part uh, 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 in um not only the bloodshed of the real Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? Um, you know, they, they, they didn't say anything when they were over here destroying us, all right? They, uh, um, they actually partook in it, man, all right? You had the, uh, the Amalekites, the fake Jews that, that made the, the uh, uh, that they, they were selling us, you know? Um, the Hamites, they were, they were grabbing us up and selling us as well, all right? 
Um, you know, you had the Arab countries in, in there as well. Okay. And, 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 and um, fast forward, you keep going, um, you know, and, 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 you know, from slavery, what, what happened, what, what came about from that? A lot of money came from it. A lot of resources, you know, from the, the plantations that were made, you know, the, the, the tobacco, the, you know, uh, the, the various different crops that they were selling, the sugar, the sugar canes, the, the rum. All right. All that was being sold to the other nations, man. You know, they were in confederacy with him, but now they, they, you know, they were eating his bread. They were all making money from our slavery, but now they've come against them, man. And that's exactly what we read here in Jeremiah 50 and 9. It says that assembly of nations uh, uh, is going to come against them, man. That's what's coming. You could actually read that as well in the book of Joel. Let me get that real quick. Joel 3 and 1, it says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, right? When uh, when he pulls back the captivity, when, uh, you know, he saves us, when he delivers us, verse 2 says, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land all right and uh, what's the other scripture you know because the lord is going to bring all these nations together to come up against babylon all right and he's also going to bring them all together to judge them together all right um let's read that uh right here zephaniah 3 and 8 it says therefore wait ye upon me saith yahweh until the day that i rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the, the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right. So the Lord is going to bring all the nations together to bring a great judgment upon them, man. You know, and that's that, uh, uh, you know, assembly of nations that are going to be coming up against Babylon. They're going to be in the midst of fighting. And then I, uh, 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 while that's going on, the Lord's going to come back and, and, and just straight rain fire upon these nations, man, with his great indignation. All right. Which indignation means righteous anger. All right. Let me go back to this uh, uh, Jeremiah 50. And if we jump down to verse 33, you know, which we bring this out all the time. This also proves that Babylon, this Babylon is not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about the United States, man. Chapter uh, 33, it says, Thus saith Yahweh uh, uh, of hosts, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives, all right, held them fast. They refused to let them go. Okay? So here it is, all right, uh, um, this, you know, uh, in Jeremiah, is talking about the captivity of Israel, all right? Both uh, Israel and Judah, which is the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. All right. Verse 32, it says, Their Redeemer is strong. Yahweh of hosts is his name. They shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. So back in the days in ancient Babylon, you know, for the most part, only the southern kingdom went into that captivity. All right. Before this captivity, the northern kingdom was taken, you know, into uh, unto the Assyrian captivity. All right. Uh, um, so this couldn't be talking about once again, the ancient Babylon. OK, you know, uh, uh, right here, it says that both the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All right. So this has to be talking about modern day Babylon, the United States, man. And who's is the, is the, you know, um, who they call the minority in the, in this nation. All right. In the United States, who is the, the people that are, you know, oppressed, who are the people who get the, you know, the, the, the short end of the stick by design systematically in this nation, in this uh, nation, in this queendom is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and native Americans, man. You guys are the true Hebrew Israelites, and the Lord is going to come back to redeem you. He is your redeemer, man. We are the ones that need salvation, not these other nations, man. They have been living deliciously together 
All right. And now they're divided. All right. Everyone's seeing the deceitfulness of, of modern day Babylon and all these other nations are going to come up against her. And while in the midst of their fighting, they're going to be destroyed. How will Bashem Yao Shai is going to bring down fire and brimstone on these people? All right. And, and, and not to mention the nuclear missiles that these other nations are going to throw upon America as well, man. All right. This is what's written in the scriptures. You know, there is a Babylon that is not the ancient Babylon. And it's talking about the great whore, America, the United States, man, who is to be destroyed, who are to be destroyed. So with that, I'll leave y'all, brothers. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I'm going to end, like always, by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Salutations once again to the brothers that are pushing forth this word in truth and in sincerity. And to the few sisters that are listening and learning, listening in the cut. All right. Until the first, until the next one, um, I say to y'all, Brother Shalom, don't take that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right. Shalom.